This extremely simple concept was the key turning point in my trading and got me funded with multiple accounts. Not only that, but so far this year I have purchased two challenges which are past phase one and they are about to pass phase two. So let's get started. It is simply the respect and disrespect of PD arrays. If you remind yourself of what the PD array matrix is, in the premium, you have the premium and then you have your discount. The PD arrays in the premium consists of old highs, rejection block, bearish order block, fair value gap or imbalance, liquidity void, bearish breaker and your bearish mitigation block. Those are the PD arrays that are in your premium. And now the PD arrays in your discount are simply bullish mitigation blocks, bullish breaker, liquidity void again, fair value gap slash imbalance, bullish order block, rejection block and your old lows. They are the PD arrays within your discount. So if you're unfamiliar with what the PD arrays are, then let me know in the comments and I will make detailed videos regarding them. But essentially the idea of respect and disrespect of PD arrays is what PD arrays are being respected and what PD arrays are being disrespected. The basic principle behind this PD array matrix is that if one PD array gets disrespected, the next one is usually your target. So here, say we are in a bullish price action, right? And then our first level that we come to is a bearish mitigation block because it works up. Bearish mitigation block, then breaker, then liquidity void. Vice versa for discount, it works down. You encounter a bullish mitigation block first, and then a bullish breaker, and then a liquidity void, etc. until you get to the old low. But essentially, say we are in a bullish price action and price comes in, taps into a bearish mitigation block and completely disrespects it. That is a telltale sign that we are going to continue bullish. So once it disrespects this bearish mitigation block, what is next in a PDRA matrix? Your bearish breaker, right? So that becomes your next target. Ideally, price should retrace and then there should be some sort of a bearish breaker here. This becomes your next target for bullish price action and then you would anticipate it to continue higher and take that out. That is the basic principle behind your targets for your PDRA matrix. If you're bullish, discount arrays should support price higher and if you're bearish, premium arrays should support price lower. So now let's look at some real chart examples. Note this down, make sure you note down the PDRA matrix and let's get started. Here, let's do your top down analysis on the monthly, we are very clearly bullish. You could use the same concept on the monthly as well. Here we have this old high, which if you remember, is part of your premium array, old highs. Because we disrespected that premium array, which is your last line of defense, essentially your old high or old low is the last line of defense on both premium and discount. So that would be your strongest PD array. But here, we took out this old low, AKA your premium array. What does that give you? This gives you a market structure break and it is a confirmation of price going bullish. Right, so let's make this red. This is your market structure break. And let's look for a next draw on liquidity. Here is your next draw on liquidity in the form of an old high again, buy side liquidity. And also here is your immediate draw on liquidity. This is your immediate draw on liquidity and this is your long term liquidity, which is your overall draw on liquidity. So essentially you would anticipate for price to come down, find support at a discount array, because remember, discount arrays will support price to go higher in a bullish scenario. And because we had that confirmation of a bullish scenario, after we broke this old high in the form of a premium array, giving you that market structure break, you would anticipate some sort of support here before price continues higher to take out this immediate drawn liquidity and then go for this buy side liquidity next. And that is your long term perspective on the monthly time frame, which is your higher time frame. So here, we have this imbalance. This is your bullish imbalance and ideally you would want to see price support this and continue higher. So now let's go down onto the daily. On the daily, we will look for some sort of a bullish confirmation in the form of what premium arrays and what discount arrays are being disrespected and respected. So right now, you can see from this current bearish price action, look at all the discount arrays that are being disrespected, price retraces, comes back into this imbalance, respects that imbalance, which is a premium array, continues lower, breaks this low, which is your discount array, disres disrespecting it. If you want to look at more examples, same thing here. Let's look at all the way from the start of this bearish retracement into this monthly imbalance, 
which we could also refine into this weekly imbalance if you wanted to. But to keep things simple, let's just look at this overall monthly imbalance. So here, we have this entire bearish scenario that retraced into this imbalance. And you can see that price has an aggressive move lower, disrespecting this bullish order block. There's no reason for price to disrespect this candle raise if it wanted to continue higher. But the fact that it disrespected this discount array, that is your first indication that price is going to go bearish. Here, price retraces. We have this bearish order block. Price respects it and then continues lower. Take out this old low, as well as disrespecting these bullish order blocks. Again, respect of a premium array, disrespect of a discount array implies that we are going to continue lower. And then that keeps continuing. Here, old low disrespected price comes back respects this premium array in the form of a bearish order block before continuing lower however here an old low gets taken out price continues lower but then it has a strong displacement higher taking out this old high so now price is disrespecting a premium array and comes back to respect a discount array before continuing higher and taking out this premium array again this is your first indication that price is going to have a minor bullish retracement before continuing lower why do I say this is simply a bullish retracement? Because if you look at the monthly, all that was simply to do was to accumulate positions at buy side to then take it down and rebalance this imbalance. At this point in price, this entire price range here, that was all just a bearish movement into this PDRA to then take price higher on the monthly time frame. We get bullish retracements because that is how price moves. Price doesn't move as simple as lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, right? It always has to have some sort of a manipulation to the upside, such as that, sweeping this buy side liquidity, because in a transaction, there are always buyers and sellers. Buyers can't buy unless there are sellers selling to them, and sellers can't sell unless there's buyers buying from them. So because on this high here, there is a bulk in buy side liquidity in the form of buy stop and stop losses, price will have to come to this buy stop, accumulate their orders, by pairing themselves with orders that exist up here in the form of buy-side liquidity before distributing it lower and continue bearish. Price can't just move as simple as this basic market structure because eventually it will run out of counterparty liquidity to pair up their positions with. So hence why price moves the way it moves. And this bullish price action that we had here was simply a retracement to do exactly that, accumulate positions above these buy-side liquidity before distributing it lower into this monthly discount array. Now that that's tapped into this monthly discount array, let's see all the PD arrays that we have here for this overall leg. Here, starting off with your old high. This is your most extreme premium array. And here you have your bearish order blocks or mitigation blocks. This is your imbalance that is left behind. And those are the three PD arrays. So because we tapped into this monthly discount array, we would want to anticipate some sort of a bullish reaction off of it to take out our two draws on liquidity to follow your overall higher time frame bullish sentiment. So let's go back down onto the daily and see if that's what we get. As you can see here, price has a full body closure past this imbalance. Your first premium array. This is already a very early indication that we might go bullish from here after reacting off of this monthly discount array. So let's keep playing price out and see what it does. Price then disrespects this order, bearish order block and also eventually this swing high, which is your old high in the premium range. This gives you your market structure break. Remember to always ask yourself this, what premium arrays and what discount arrays are being respected and disrespected? If premium arrays, like what we had here, are all getting disrespected, we had three premium arrays, imbalance, bearish order block and an old high get disrespected, then what is price going to want to do? go bullish because there's no reason for price to disrespect premium arrays if it was to continue lower. Here, this is further reinforced. We had this imbalance, which is on your discount range, stay protected. Again, premium arrays being disrespected, discount arrays being respected. That means we are in a bullish trend. So continue playing price further. All these bullish order blocks should stay protected and support price higher if it was to continue the bullish trend. 
as you can see here, we have taken out this buy side liquidity, which is our immediate draw liquidity. Now that it's taken that out, what we could anticipate is some sort of a retracement to continue higher, or it could just keep expanding higher and taking out this buy side liquidity. But it's important that we go down onto the daily and apply the same concept that we have been talking about in this video. Even though price has a high possibility for retracing after taking out this buy side liquidity before continuing higher, if on the daily, discount rates are still being respected and premium arrays are still being disrespected, there is no reason to try and take shorts and try to catch the top. It is simply low probability and instead you should always position yourself on what side is being respected. If I keep playing price out here, here we have an imbalance. Remember, we took out this buy side liquidity. If price was to go lower and show us that minor retracement before continuing higher, ideally, it should disrespect this discount array to show the market's furring shorts. However, if it respects this discount array and continues to break premium arrays, that means we are unlikely to see a retracement and price will just continue going higher. That is what we had here, supported by your bullish displacement. Here, we have this order block. Bullish order block to support price to go higher. And it does so here. Again, a premium high gets disrespected and price is still showing support at this discount level. Now, if you look at all the PD arrays that are in play, within this price range, we have this old low in the form of self sell liquidity. And then now we have this old high. Since it is consolidating around this area after taking out the buy side liquidity, there is a potential for price to have AMD, which is accumulation, manipulation, and then distribution. And that is something I would like to see here. We have the sell side liquidity, the price could come and manipulate under and then continue higher. Just because it wakes below this sell side liquidity doesn't mean it gets disrespected. If it was a body closure past this old low, then I would be wary and I would consider that as disrespect. But if we simply get a wick below this sell side liquidity to accumulate more positions to distribute it higher, then that is simply seen as a sweep and this discount array, you could say, still gets respected. All right, and that is what we had here. If I replay tool to this current price action, this is where you would be able to look for your entries using the same concept. Hourly, let's go into the hourly. What arrays are being disrespected and what arrays are being respected? Remember, price, the bodies of this price is still respecting this bullish order block. All we had was simply a sweep below this offside liquidity to accumulate more positions to bring it higher. So if you go back, back down to the hourly, this is where we had our sweep. And you can see price disrespect premium arrays still. This gave you your market structure shift. It comes down, respect bullish order blocks, which are your discount arrays. And then it just continues higher. To conclude, discount arrays are being respected on the hourly. Premium arrays are being disrespected. So on the hourly, we are bullish. Backed up with the fact that on the daily, we are seeing the same thing. A respect of discount arrays and disrespect of premium arrays. This is what my entry would be on hourly. As you can see here, Asian session. We sweep out Asia's low. It takes out this high in the form of a premium array. This becomes my market structure break. So because it disrespected this premium array, what would you anticipate? You would anticipate if premium arrays are being disrespected, you would anticipate discount arrays to stay respected. So look what we have here. We have a breaker block, a bullish breaker block, which is your discount array. Paired up with the fact that here, we also have an overlapping imbalance. This is where my entry could be because I'm anticipating discount arrays to stay respected and premium arrays to continue being disrespected, as well as it being aligned with my hourly bullish direction and my daily bullish direction. I get tagged in and then it expands higher. This would be my overall drawn liquidity, but I would be looking to take partials at the next premium arrays. So here we have this bearish order block. I would take partials there for 2R. Right, and then I'll leave it to go for this. This would be my next partial. And then your rejection block, and then your overall draw on liquidity, which is the old high. And my targets are simply based on what is after each other in the premium range. Remember, you encounter a bearish mitigation block first, and then a breaker, and then liquidity void, fair value gap, bearish order block, 
which is what we had here. And then you would encounter a rejection block and an old high. So those would be my targets for partials. This is my partial two, partial three, and then I would collapse my entire position here for this old high. Now do you see how easy it is once you identify what arrays are being respected and what arrays are being disrespected. So that would be my first trade. So after price took out this buy side liquidity, you can anticipate some sort of retracement before it continues higher, which is in line with your daily and your monthly. But if you look at the hourly, what becomes your next drawn liquidity? This, as well as this. Now when these two draws on liquidity get taken out, you will look to aim for this overall drawn liquidity. But let's remove this for now, and then focus on this. Playing price up, you can see price retraces if I replay here, price retraces back into this bullish order block, like so, and it leaves behind a very large wick. This implies that on the lower time frame, you have a heavy displacement to go bullish. So let's go into the five minute, and that is exactly what you had here. Price wicks that bullish order block, the bullish order block being your discount array, aka respecting this discount array. And what does it do when price retraced after taking out this buy side liquidity? It generates low resistance buy side liquidity. So price coming to this level becomes even more convincing due to the low resistance liquidity that resides above these highs. If I go down onto the five minute now, utilizing your same concept here. So let's make this more clear. Imbalance. Price has a full body closure past that imbalance. Premium arrays disrespected. Price then retraced and then it shoots up again. Breaking this high and this high. This is the premium array, and that gives you your market structure shift. Now, this is where you can position yourself for longs because premium arrays are being disrespected and discount arrays are being respected on the five minutes. So, the five minute direction is bullish. Yeah, you have this imbalance that you could use for your target, drawing that out. Stop loss just below there. You target this. All right, so it taps us in. And then it shoots off for that target. What could your next target be? This could be where you take your first partial. Your next target could be this. And then eventually this buys our liquidity. So playing price out all the way, you can see, you can see how smoothly price moves to your overall draw on liquidity. And if you look here at the remaining price action that we haven't covered yet, volume imbalance. Discount array, respected. Old high, disrespected. Large order block here, respected. Continues higher. Old high here, disrespected. And they are all your premium arrays being res disrespected and your discount arrays being respected. So that concludes this video. If I type out all the PD arrays again, these are your PD arrays. And the respect and disrespect of each PD arrays, you could use this to frame your overall higher time frame narrative all the way down to your entries. It is so simple. All you have to look for is what PD arrays are being respected, what group do they belong to, whether it belongs to premium or discount, and which ones are being disrespected. If a fair value gap in the discount is being respected, what would be our next target? You would anticipate the bearish mitigation block to be disrespected, and then the bearish breaker, liquidity void, and so on. Vice versa for premium. If we're in a bearish scenario and a bearish order block gets respected, it is likely that we are going to continue lower and disrespect discount arrays. And that is the main idea behind this concept. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. Like always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.